Hello friends and allies and today we're going to talk about the Lion Plate and the Lion Plate was introduced now during the summer update and I have been lucky to find it in a dungeon so let's take a look on the Lion Plate so the Lion Plate is for the level 270 as a minimum it has arm 17 and it gives you free in sword fighting club and axe and it has 6% uh, in physical protection and have two imbue slots but let's take uh, the lion plate in perspective in relation to other armors so if we just take a look on the lion plate a little bit more first as we can see it's a really offensive armor it gives you good in sword fighting club and axe but it actually have uh, less uh, sword fighting than um, the silver token armor gives you so this is uh, somewhat uh, in between armor where um, it's worse in damage than the silver token armor but it gives more than both the ornate chest plate and falcon plate but it also wields less uh, physical protection as we can see the falcon plate has 12% the ornate chest plate has 8 and the lion plate has 6% against physical protection so when is the lion plate a good armor? I would say it's a good armor when you do not need the protection anymore. So for instance, um, let's say you're starting going walls with uh, the falcon or the ornate chest plate. And after a couple of levels you realize that you do not need the extra protection. And then you decide to go for the lion plate instead. So. And I will also say it's also a really good option because this armor is going to be a lot cheaper than Falcons and will most likely just be a couple of bit uh, extra KKs in relation to the Ornate Chestplate. So this is a really good armor and it's more damage. And I think this uh, is one of the best armors when it comes to duo hunting in spawns like um, Falcons, Cobras or skeletons for instance because when you have a good druid as an ek you you will not be needing the falcon plate anymore and you can solely rely on the ed and by having more damage you also become a little bit more safer in some of the pulls as well because like in skeleton uh, their max uh, hit is not very high but it's the rotation after rotation which kills you in skeletons. So if you're able to kill the monsters quicker, it also becomes a lot safer. So for me, the best armor will be the Falcon Plate because the tankiness, you can't really look that away. This is the very best armor. And the third best armor will now be the Ornate Chest Plate because I don't see how the 2% more in physical protection will be more worth than having the 3 plus in skill. So if you're currently having an Ornate Chest Plate, I recommend that you change to a Lion Plate because 3 more in skills is more valuable than 2% extra physical protection. And uh, for the Silver Token Armor, uh, I, th I really like these armors. They're good when you're charm, charm hunting or when you're duo hunting and you do not need to waste the extra cash on Vampirism. But otherwise it's a rather useless armor, the Silver Token Armor. So, I'm a, I think the lion, sh lion plate is a really good option uh, when you start to, when you want to replace your Ornate chest plate. And it's a good combination for um, the Falcon plate when you want to be dealing more damage and you feel more comfortable in a spawn. So, that was it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and I highly recommend to buy the lion plate and I will see you guys in the next video and remember that the lion plate will most likely drop in value so if you do not have the cash today you can just wait or just continue to farm the ancient lionite or drume.